propaganda. Oh, oh, oh. Um, election is when we elect our leaders who represent us. And uh, election is my right as a citizen of this country. Election uh, is a voting process. Election is a voting process like vote uh, a candidate for a leadership. Hmm, it's more like my right to choose uh, the country's leader, my own parts to play about it. Say from Lema point of view, is uh, you know any activity that is aimed at you know putting people in a position of authority. Is a platform, an avenue for people to elect those or get into offices, those that they want to represent them. An election is simple now. It's just people choosing choosing one or two people. People the society choosing a number of people to represent to represent to lead, to coordinate. To, to do administration. All right. And now you want my trust for us. Before you can say, you know, what an election is, there has to be an electorate. Somebody has to, you know, uh, uh, vote, you understand, in an election for people of authority to get into power. The vote is the power of the electorate. All right, so so the the people brings their their power to 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 the table during an election. That's that's what it is. I think it's more like um, us having a say of who goes there to represent us, of who we talk to, you know, that will guide us our right, you know, and give us the benefit of that. Oh, let me not use the word the past one. Or give us the benefit that what we need is what we're going to get between the electorate and the election itself. Um, the electorate are supposed to willingly vote according to their conscience, according to what they feel that the, the, the capabilities of whoever they want to elect into offices can do. Um, the electorate, they have the power to elect their leaders because this is a democratic setting. And you know what the, the meaning of democracy? is democracy is um, government of the people, for the people and by the people. So it is our right as the electorates to elect our leaders. <laughs> Come on, you can't buy my right. It is my right as a citizen and you can't buy it with money. No amount of money can buy it. So because by the time you sell your right to vote, you're selling your bad right. That's the way I see it. <laughs> I think that is laughable. I, I don't think you know you need to pay to get my vote, but rather you need to earn my vote. My vote is, is free. I mean, I don't have to collect anything from you to, 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 to vote for you. If you tell me what you are going to do and I am okay and I believe that voting you, you know, with me realizing such aims and objectives, then I will cast my vote for you. I don't need to take money to vote for you. That's a lot of money. <laughs> my power is all I have got. All right? So if, it's, like, if, it's like I'm selling myself to you if, you if you pay me and I give you my power. My vote is my power. So it means you are ready to pay a whole lot of money. It's like I'm selling myself as to you as a slave. You have total control over me. So it, it, that would be difficult to sell, actually. That would be far, very, very... In fact, it's, 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 it's difficult to explain. Well, but it's also simple to explain. You know, if I give you my power, I have sold myself to you. So why should I do that? It's my vote during an election is my power, is, is everything I am. Hmm. You know, it's a matter, a, matter, a matter of money because it's about my generation now, you know, trying to cause a change. There is no money whatsoever that, you know, one has to pay to get the right leader. The money can finish, 
But when the morning finishes, what happens? What's next? You know, that's what we're looking at. You can only offer me your conscience and nothing else. The conscience that I have to believe that when you get in there, you represent me well. I don't believe in selling of votes and I can't do that. So my vote only can appeal to your conscience and uh, that is exactly what it is. If I find out that you cannot represent me well based on your incident, antecedents, I can't at all vote you in, no matter how much you're giving to me. I don't need anybody's money to vote. If I want to vote, I'll vote for someone I choose to vote for. Not because of the money. See, all I want to say is that they don't really care about us. That is the pain of the problem, the pain of the issue here. Collecting money and then selling your votes. You are selling a whole generation of yours. Very wrong. So people should vote according to their conscience. No matter how much they are giving you, let them go with their money. Vote according to your conscience. And when the person comes in, he will know definitely that he did not spend any money. He has come to do work for you. And he will do, definitely do the work. But when he, he buys your vote, what do you expect him to do? Definitely nothing. If I, if I come to you and, you, and I buy your, your votes from you, you don't expect me to do anything for you. So if they should have any expectation on the incoming administration, they should, from this very moment, begin to you know, reorientate themselves, begin to understand that once they say their votes, they don't have any moral justification again to ask for you know, the amenities that these people are supposed to come in to provide for them. Uh, they should know that, I mean, when you sell your votes, you shouldn't hold your leaders accountable for anything. Because at the end of the day, when they buy you, you are electing the wrong leaders. And it will in turn rub off on uh, uh, what will benefit our citizens of this country. Because what we're suffering from in this country is as a result of uh, politicians buying a right to vote them in. That is what we're suffering from. So I, I don't, it should be discouraged. It should be discouraged. If you, if, you, if you look at the lifestyle of people who sell their votes, they are in complete penury, living in squalor. They have no hope. Leadership that continues to give out money to buy people's votes in an election will continue to exploit the people. They would continue to refuse to do what they should do. They would continue to, 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 to keep back developmental projects that is supposed to, to empower the people and continue to use them as a peace meals during election. The common understanding is that once you sell your vote, it's like you said your future and you said the future of the unborn. Because one, if you sell your vote, the person who bought your vote from you bought it you know with a price and his personal money and he will have to do business to recoup his money and by the time he's recouping his money you will be the one to suffer okay you look at the children you look at yourself are you really in the right place is the country in the right position can we compete with other countries out there when you collect the money now and it finishes what happens next so I think with that right frame of mind, people tend to think twice before they collect money because at the end of the day, the money finishes, but the person is still there for the four years. So you shouldn't allow politicians buy you over. That is what we are suffering from as citizens because we elect the wrong people. So at the end of the day, they're not accountable to us. By the time they buy you, definitely they will recoup their money. So as a result, you will not enjoy any form of amenities. What, what they are supposed to do for us, of course they cannot do it for us. Because they are like investors. You invest money, you want to recoup it. So you can't hold them responsible for anything. Why you keep on deceiving the people, my brother, my sister? When you get politicians that want to come into power by crook, or by any means. It's one thing is them having doubts, them not having the consciousness of producing results. You know, when you won't produce results, you tend to pay for something. You know, when they pay them off, they feel they can do anything there because you are being bought over, so you don't have authority anymore. Of course, they are businessmen. That is what they are. Businessmen coming to sell, coming to buy. So when they come to you, tell them that you are not selling. They will definitely come. 
They don't have any other thing. They don't have any nothing whatsoever to offer the country except that money that they have, with which they will come to buy a vote. And when they enter there, they don't do anything for you. Why don't we work together so the future will be brighter? Money politics is the worst type of politics you can experience or have anywhere, anywhere in the world. So our challenge is actually coming to the place of realization, of understanding what you are, what you carry, and who you are. If we can get to that place easily, then all of this would, uh, would not even come up. People should begin to you know, realize that once these people are voted in on the basis of having body of vote, I'm telling you, they will not do anything for you. As a nation, we should know that uh, those who are buying votes in the first instance do not mean well for the country. And if it is possible, the whole country should revote against them. Once you see anybody, you know, soliciting to buy your vote, that should be enough reason to reject that person or that political party, as the case may be. If you vote for money, at the end of the day, the person will be doing anyhow in the power and you have the right to say anything. The value of my vote is enormous. It's about the change I want in my country. It's about a whole lot of things, the generation at large. You know, we're talking about what we want to see, the change we want to see in our country. Look at the Western country out there. We are not just closed. The education is down, everything is not working. So we need something to work in this country. My voter's card has power because it is my right. It is my right, and nobody can buy it. I dedicate this one to all of the shady politicians. Make a promise and fail, and then make the people live in harsh conditions. Yeah, yeah.